Yo, welcome back to Daily DJ. This is Trevsky. I'm taking you on my journey of going from zero DJ experience to hopefully playing at festivals and making music with my idols. Today, I have a special set planned. As you can see, we have a perfect timing to do a sunset or a sunset set. And I've been listening to techno pretty much all day, so I thought it would go really well. I'm gonna mix some house and techno for today's practice and I'm looking forward to it because I've never mixed techno before. It's not, I enjoy listening to it, but I don't see myself as a techno DJ. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it pans out. Also, for those of you that are new, I'm doing this daily set as a way to practice performance, mixing techniques, building set lists, a bunch of different things, and it's been going super well. I've really enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys are as well. By the way, the last video that I released, that club mix that I was proud of, I got the most views in 24 hours that I've ever gotten, so thank you so much. It was about 100. Really appreciate every single view, every like, comment, any way to support, even if you comment constructive criticism. I really want to improve as fast as possible and get a lot of people's opinions, so it's very helpful to me, and I do actually act on those suggestions and those tips. So please, leave your thoughts below. Let's get into this.
consciousness. Sentience of internal, external, or virtual existence.
one song that we played, like every time it was like say three o'clock in the morning, we were just starting to die. <laughs> we played the song, we played the song.
Well, that was rough. I think I was doomed from the beginning because I had so much technical difficulties trying to get this set up that it wasn't really a sunset set because I took so long to get SoundCloud to work. Like I had to make, let me show you, I had to make like three or four playlists just to get the files into Rekordbox. Look, I literally made like five different playlists because I couldn't get them. For some reason, one song was glitching and then it was making, it was clearing the whole playlist like this. I had to break them up into like three different playlists here. So already I was kind of doomed from the technical difficulties there. And then second of all, I had a really big mess up at the end. Please disregard that. Like I was completely out of it and I accidentally stopped the track that was playing because I was in my headphones. I turned off the performance deck like in my headphones and I was just listening to try and find a good cue point. But for some reason I just got like distracted or something and, and I started scratching the main deck. So. That was a big fail. And um, I literally was so embarrassed and disappointed in myself that I was like, maybe I should just tell them that my camera died and I had to cut that part out. <laughs> but the whole point of this series is to show the good and the bad. So in the arena, you know, fighting, trying to get better, I'm gonna be knocked down a lot. I'm gonna get punched in the face. This is one of those times and I don't wanna hide it. And I wanna show you the whole picture, the whole journey of my growth as an artist. So. There you go, laugh at it. I'm gonna laugh at it in many years from now, for sure. Lastly, I've never mixed techno before, so I think I was trying to do the transitions way too fast. There was a point in the beginning, I think it might have been the second or third transition, where I completely took out the first track too fast because I'm so used to doing quicker transitions. Because the songs that I've been working with are only like two or three minutes, not like seven minutes, like a typical techno song. Going forward, if I wanna continue mixing techno, I'm gonna have to draw out the transitions for sure and make it seem a lot more like one song, just different parts of the song. Still losing my voice, by the way. I think it was a good experience because I got to see how it was to mix techno. Obviously, I had some big pitfalls, but that's all part of the process. There was, there was, a, ton of, there was a ton of stuff wrong, like some of the BPMs. I was trying to not use beat sync because I didn't wanna cheat and I wanted to try and match it. But for some reason, when I'm using the tempo slider, it doesn't let me do like on the dot. Like for example, let me show you. So right now, the native BPM of this song is 131. If I scroll ever so slightly, it goes by like fives like or eights. I don't know, this is so random. Like how do I change it so it's in increments of like 0.5 or something like that? Because I don't need 0 0.96, 0 0.04. So let me know please if you know how to do that. It's been super hard for me to actually match with this tempo slider rather than using, sometimes I'll just have to use beat sync. But yeah, I mean, I think there's not much else to say. I really like listening to techno. I was listening to it all day doing work. I don't know if that's weird or not, but I was doing it. It worked really well, actually. I got in the zone. And then I like, I've been to some techno DJ sets. I really enjoy it. I don't think it's personally my favorite genre for me to mix. You know what I've been doing, like main stage genres, like big room, future house, stuff like that. That's what I personally enjoy playing. I really respect people that can mix techno well, and I think it, it sounds amazing live. But for me personally right now, I don't think I'm gonna pursue this genre, but it's always good to try other, other genres and other types of mixing, just so I'm more knowledgeable as a DJ. But anyways, I can't talk anymore, so you guys know what it is. I'll be back here again tomorrow. Daily DJ, let's get it guys. Take care.